Hi, and thank you so much for watching. I'm Sanna, and today let's review all of the fragrances that are in this memo discovery set. So in this video, I will be reviewing all seven of these perfumes plus honorable mentions as always. Uh, so if you're curious, keep on watching. Let's start with the favorite ones and one of them is Irish leather. Freshly spicy green effervescent leather. The main accords in Irish leather are juniper berries, leather and mate tea. A very, very atmospheric fragrance. I personally can smell a touch of petit grain, davana, oak moss. I was immediately transported back to Ireland and even Scotland. I spent one month in Scotland uh, some years ago and I somehow feel that Irish leather has captured the picturesque mountains and forests. And the reason why, I guess, it's because there's a lot of dampness, a lot of watery elements in the scent. The oak moss feels moist. Um, there's a dash of ambroxan as well, because I'm quite sensitive to that specific molecule, but this is by no means headache-inducing, at least for me. The longevity is around 8-hour mark with a nice central. Yeah, this fragrance really has the ability to transport you uh, to a different place. And similar scents that I could mention here are um, Le Sillage Blanc by Dusita. But just the green leather aspect. Maybe green Irish tweed by Creed. By no means they are dupes. I'm just adding them for reference in case you are more familiar with those other scents. So Irish leather by Memo. The next fragrance is one of the most loved tuberose-centered fragrances out there and is my favorite as well. And it's called Marfa. Intoxicating ylang, ylang together with tuberose, that juicy orange, sandalwood, vanilla. Marfa has to be one of the most sensual fragrances. It's sweet, it's potent, it's dense. If you wear this on your date, you can be sure that your dinner date will be intoxicated by you and your fragrance. Marfa leaves an impression. It's also one of those which enters the room before you do. I can see Marfa only on strong personalities. If you're not in the right mindset, then Marfa will probably wear you out. I had a travel spray of Marfa and I tested it in winter and also in summertime. And I personally feel that Marfa is made for summer. In summertime, the tuberose is not sharp at all. In contrary, it's creamy creates this protective veil around you, if you will. However, in winter time, the tuberose felt a bit sharp to me. So Marfa by Memo, one of the most loved sweet tuberose fragrances with intoxicating central. Next up is Lalibela. The main accords in Lalibela are rose, fra frankincense, and uh, patchouli reminded me of a fragrance. It was actually the first fragrance I smelled in my life. Mirbei by Chopard, which is also similar to Kashmir by the same brand Chopard. I would say it's quite sharp peach together with jasmine and very, very powdery. This scent is bright, uh, but somehow dense at the same time. Uh, the overall vibe is uplifting, positivity in a bottle. The patchouli is also quite noticeable here. So if you're not a fan of patchouli, then Lalibela is probably not for you. Due to the fact that uh, there's also aldehydes, it's like a fresh powdery scent. It does last around six to eight hours. So Lalibela, by memo. Next up, let's take French leather. The first impression could be that it's quite a simple fragrance. However, 
French leather by Memo is one of those versatile leather rose fragrances that can take you from daytime to nighttime. It can work greatly as an office scent, as a signature scent, dinner date fragrance as well. If you want to expand your horizons and try a leather fragrance, this could be nice to start with. The rose here is a dewy one with some aquatic touches. I also smell like a lipstick nuance, but just for a faint moment. So French leather by Memo, a very elegant, sophisticated, very likable fragrance. My favorite, and it's African leather. Um, African leather was my first Memo full-size bottle. It was kindly gifted by my parents. I tried to remember when, but I think it was six, seven years ago. Why I love African leather? It's because of how confidence-boosting it is. I had a feeling that I could move mountains when I was wearing African leather. It does paint a picture of a vast desert in front of you. There's oud, saffron, um, cumin, uh, lots of leather. It can be perceived as quite sharp and unbalanced. I have heard the polarizing reviews before. However, it's the scent preference, you know. So African leather by Memo for that adventure-seeking soul. Next up is Iberian leather. And Iberian leather is probably one of the strongest fragrances out there. Heavy, brutal leather fragrance. It's sharp, it's spicy. I get a lot of cumin, pepper. The leather has sharp edges, it's rough. It's not the suede or those buttery kind of leathers. This one is a heavy heater leather with cumin. I could still smell it after one week on my shirt. So this could possibly last you for years. And so probably a good value for money. Biker chic, um, rock star spirit braided in here. So the main notes in Iberian leather are coriander, cedarwood atlas, and leather. And I will stick to my guns and say that all of these are unisex. However, Iberian leather is one of the most masculine ones in the set. Next up, Inle. I had the trouble with this one. Gave me headaches. So I will not uh, even spray this one. Not everyone is sensitive to heavy aldehydes and ESOI Super and Ambroxan. So I wanted to be diplomatic and review this one as well. The main notes in, in Le are Osmanthus, Jasmine and Mate. It's an aldehyde bomb with peach, heavy florals in full bloom. And that Mate gives a nice bittery touch to this fragrance. I would really love to smell Inle on others, but somehow I cannot handle it myself. If you like the vibe of Serge of Accento Overdose, you might really like Inle as well. It will leave a lasting impression and it will make an entrance. Inle is one of those fragrances that enter the room before you do. And when you leave the room, the scent will still hang in the air and will remind everyone that you have been here. Uh, so yeah, in Le by Memo. Last but not least, a fragrance that is one of my favorite ones from Memo Paris. It's not included in this particular discovery set, but I went through a whole bottle of Winter Palace. Hello. And I wanted to add this fragrance here as well. Let's spray it in there. Winter Palace by Memo is one of the most exciting tea fragrances in my opinion. I sometimes even 
smell some aspects of lyra in here that zesty bergamot together with vanilla uh, there's benzoin stolu balsam it can be perceived as fresh and green but there's also a balsamic aspect in here very pleasant very uplifting and positive and fun fragrance as i said before i went through a whole bottle of winter palace and i was wearing it all year round it didn't get boring and to finish this video i'm really curious about granada by memo as i love the city of granada here in spain I imagine it being a holy grail orange blossom and orange fragrance. What I also wanted to mention here is tiger's nest, as that is a um, current signature scent of my sister. Amber heavy resinous fragrance, also with uh, leather aspects. Fingers crossed my sister will eventually get tired of tiger's nest and I will have the opportunity to snatch a partly used bottle from her. So this was it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and see you on my next video. Bye.